It's an exciting day for a Bantam hockey right. team in Kelowna. The right. stars are getting a first-hand look at the Kelowna Rockets facilities, right. where the decisions are made, where the injured players get treated, where the players work out to keep in shape. Weber's right there, number two. Schultz. Yeah. Have a look and poke around. So sticks and practice jerseys, socks. Cardio and bikes or elliptical. We do we run stairs a fair bit as well. It's called the Russian jump board. So for lateral jumps, one legged jumps side to side. Jump far and high. I think it would just like kinda improve your skating when you're like going back and forth, pushing with your legs. Looks like you know what you're doing there. I don't know. I've never boxed before. Good workout though, eh? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Do you like one of those in your uh, workout room? Totally. I wish I had a workout room. That'd be nice. It's pretty awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, can't wait to get on the ice with them. It's really exciting, but I'm a little bit nervous about meeting the Rockets. It's all because these 13 and 14 year olds were the minor hockey team that raised the most amount of money for the Kelowna Food Bank. As a reward, they get this up close special day with the Rockets. A few parents decided to kick in right away, and then uh, from there we seen that we had a chance. And they kind of upped their efforts, and everybody talked to family members and everything else, and raised as much money as we could, and it worked out. We're here playing today. I think it's turning into a, a pretty good competition for minor hockey in town. And this this group, the Stars, they did a great job of raising a lot of money, over 5,500, I guess, when you count cash and food donations. They should be very proud of themselves, and I think it's the least that we can do is to have them out here for a little while with our guys. I'm guessing it'll be a real exciting for them. I just remember back in Saskatoon, a couple Blades guys came out when I was younger, and that was really exciting for us. So I can only imagine it's probably the same thing for them. Well, Craig McTavish was one of my coaches when I was younger, and we got to see a couple of the Oilers, but no, nothing like this, not a full practice. After a short warm-up, it's go time with the number five ranked team in the entire CHL. No one was really keeping score, but goals did indeed happen. Well, I was just coming in on the wing, and I just came in and... Uh, and I just got the rebound because my uh, centerman shot it on net. If anybody wants to go, let me know, eh? Are you trying to get Goldborn going, are you? I'm trying to get the kids to lay some bodies out there, but I, they're not listening right now. I'm still waiting for the first hit. We'll see when they actually lay the body down out there. Yeah, we're trying to get number 12 out and get them, see if one of them will drop the gloves. They all have my number over there. The one guy wouldn't go me, but he was asking me all game. They're all talk, those guys, aren't they? I'll talk, I'll talk. I let them know. What happened there? It looks like you got a jersey up over your helmet. Yeah, he's just being a cheap player. You guys have been chirping all game here. Yeah. You better get him back? Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, the Rockets' tough guy finds a taker. It's all in good fun, though, and the Bantam Stars simply had a blast on this day. They let it up a little bit, but they shot, some of them shot hard. It's something you'll probably remember for the rest of your life, eh? Oh, yeah. Big time. I'm loving it so far. It's the best.